If you're among the many people who use I-15's express lanes, or even if you just travel I-15 regularly, you're about to see some big changes in the way express lanes work, how solo drivers pay to use them, and how they help clear up traffic. UDOT is implementing a new system designed to maximize the use of express lanes by permitting more drivers in on a pay-per-use basis, thereby allowing traffic to move more freely across all lanes of I-15. For the next few minutes, we'd like to show you why these changes are being made, how they work, and what they will mean to you. So come on along, and let's take a ride on Utah's new electronic express lanes. The first thing to know about I-15's express lanes is that they have been successful in helping to relieve congestion on the highway's general traffic lanes, as well as promoting the idea of carpooling. However, since the lanes still had more capacity, they could accommodate more cars and further improve traffic flow. In order to increase the efficiency of the lanes and allow more people to use them more of the time, we needed a new system that didn't just allow more vehicles in, but that still managed to maintain speeds of at least 55 miles per hour as well. And that's where our new electronic system fits the bill. Utah's new electronic express lane system is based on systems used successfully in several other cities across the country and is designed to be a highly efficient, seamless way of achieving the proper balance between cars using the express lanes and cars using the general lanes. Here's how it works. Starting in the fall of 2010, drivers can go online to purchase an Express Pass transponder that attaches directly to their windshield. The Express Pass will allow solo drivers to drive in the express lanes and pay only when they use them, rather than paying the set monthly fee. The cost to use the express lanes varies depending on the traffic flow at the time. During heavy traffic, the lanes will be more expensive than it will be during lighter traffic periods. Overhead signs will indicate the current cost before the lane's entry point. Cars carrying transponders are automatically detected once they enter the lane, and their Express Pass accounts are debited for each use. A light on the back of the sign will assist law enforcement by indicating which entering cars have transponders and which do not. The new Express lanes are divided into four zones, with dotted lines indicating the entry and exit points. The first zone lies between Main Street and Lehigh and 146 South. The second, between 146 South and 72nd South. The third zone is between 72nd South and 23rd North. And the fourth runs between State Street and Farmington and the South Layton Interchange. Solo drivers using the lanes will be charged through their transponders according to how many zones they drive through. Prices may vary from zone to zone depending on the traffic congestion within that particular zone. Okay, for example, a driver leaves downtown Salt Lake and enters the express lane heading south. She passes through the entry point and her account is automatically debited the amount posted for the first zone. Today, since traffic is lighter, the cost is just 25 cents. Signs throughout the zone will be posted to indicate the current price for that zone as an aid for those entering the lanes midway. Before the end of the current zone and the beginning of the next, our driver is notified of the cost for the next zone, giving her time to decide whether to leave the express lane and continue in the general lanes or keep driving in the express lane and be automatically debited the cost of a second zone. Traffic is getting heavier, so she sees that the cost of the next zone is going to be 50 cents. She decides to stay in, figuring that the time savings is worth it. But now her exit is coming up, so she gets out of the express lane through the dotted lines. Her account has been debited for the use of two zones, 25 cents for the first and 50 cents for the second. And she never traveled below 55 miles per hour. Aside from the cars using the new electronic express pass, the existing rules still apply to all cars. Carpools remain the first priority in the lanes and still use them simply by setting the pass to off. The only people required to have a transponder to use the lane are solo drivers. Carpools, buses, motorcycles, and seaplate vehicles are still free. This efficient, automatic new system helps area drivers enjoy a smoother, more predictable commute. It's just another example of UDOT constantly working to keep traffic flowing as freely as possible throughout Utah. Not only helping our traffic situation, but our overall quality of life as well. And let's face it, keeping Utah moving is what we're all about.